Hi, this is Ankur from Market XLS, and in this video, we will continue our discussion about uh, the historical prices. But instead of looking at the menu system which we looked at last time, we will look at uh, how you can get historical prices in Excel using Market XLS formulas. The key function that you want to look at is uh, a function called close historical. So when you type close historical, you can pass in the name of the symbol and you can pass in the date for which you want the close price so you could say and let's say we want on 10th of june 2017 what was the price of this stock so we can just press enter so it returns an na and that probably means that 10th of june in 2017 was a non-trading day so let's have a look and confirm that so we'll go to june 10th and as you can see it was a saturday so instead of june 10th if we look for june 9th we should have a price here so now instead of having symbol within the function you could actually just like any other excel function you can actually refer to the symbol in the function like this and of course now when you change the the symbol the price will also change just like you can refer the symbol, we really refer the date as well. And the date does not have to be like a string. You could also use like Excel's normal date reference. So Excel provides a formula called today, which always returns the today's date. And if you subtract a number from this date, it essentially means that subtracting X number of days from this date. So if I say G3, which is the today's date, and if I say minus 10, that would mean that we'll go back 10 days in the history from this date. So let's say that was 12th. So that was the 12th of September. Type in close historical of this symbol and on this date. And similarly, we can get it for 12th as well. So this is the way you can get the historical close price of a stock. Apart from this close historical, you also have other functions which are like open historical, you have low historical, you have volume historical and you have high historical let's also look at some other functions which are derived from the historical prices and these functions are return functions so we have like functions that are called stock return so if you would start typing stock return you would see all these functions which automatically calculate the return of a different stock in different uh, time periods so let's say you want to find out for a symbol uh, what was the one year return on this stock so you'll simply look for stock return one year function and you will pass on a symbol and you'll get a number so essentially what this tells us that uh, this symbol or this stock has uh, uh, given 32 percent return and the returns uh, they are calculated on our servers and they are adjusted for the splits and the dividends and everything so this return is something that you can actually rely on and uh, just to confirm let's quickly have a look at the chart for microsoft so we'll go to quick charts and that's going to be the one year chart and uh, this is today this is just one year in history so the price was 57.76 and now it is 74.21 so this seems to be correct so this is how you can use the stock return function so similarly you have many other uh, return functions for custom time periods so let's say 15 days five years nine months and so on and so forth and you also have a function for the custom dates so for the custom dates you would pass the start date and the end date to calculate return of a stock in between two dates that you provide i hope you like this video please subscribe to our channel and please like this video thank you very much for watching